What you cooking, Roach? What ya cooking, Roach? What's up, guys? And welcome to my channel, What You Cooking, Roach. All right? And for those that are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate the love. Thanks for checking me out. All right? So, today I'm going to be making stuffed beef bell peppers. All right? Now, I haven't had these in a while, so I've had a taste for them. So, I thought I would share the recipe with you that my grandmother shared with me years ago. <laughs> okay? So, of course, we're going to start out with these bell peppers. Now, I got six. Now, you can use with any color uh, bell pepper or combination you want. For me, you know, I'm, it's all about simply, simple and easy. That's what we're doing. And these bell peppers was on sale. I, I was sh shocked for 88 cents each. And then the red and the yellows was $1.99. So, you know. And so, we got our, got our ground beef. Now, I like to use the uh, 85 cent lean 15 fat. You want to get it nice and lean. And we got our cheese. Um, I'll show you how we're going to put that on the top of that. I like to mix it also in the bell pepper once we get it roasted, okay? Now, we also got our onion. We're going to chop that up. I got two onion. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all this meat, but we'll see. And we got our salt, pepper, Italian seasonings parsley and we got a little olive oil just for a little taste into the ground beef all right so i think i got everything so now what i'm going to have to do first is is want to get these bell peppers cut and then i'm gonna to have to put them in the oven to roast for a little bit to kind of soften them up and while i'm doing that we'll be cooking this ground beef all right getting that also ready too simple and easy all right so let's get started guys all right y'all so this should go without being said rinse your bell pepper off okay i'm just saying just letting people just know just some people you you you'd be quite surprised all right so we're gonna get it cut and we're just gonna we're gonna start out by just slicing off the tops here okay like so all right now we're gonna use the these here like nothing's gonna go to waste we're gonna use that and chop it in when we um start cooking our meat okay now today we got a hot spell day out here in the midwest in the shine and first, you know, because you got plan to plan these shows now. <laughs> and uh, I was going to put these in the oven. But um, it's too hot for all that. So this is becoming uh, trying it out in the uh, air fryer episode, I see. So we're just going to get these cleaned out, all right? So I'm just going to slice them. All right. Take out the seed parts of them and get the membrane part out. Like so. Now I don't really worry about rinsing the inside of them out. I mean, why? Why are we, why are we doing that? Okay. It's just fine. Oh yeah, these are really nice. These are very good. These are some decent. Oh, they have some bigger ones too. I didn't want to go too crazy. Come on. Uh oh. Boom. Oh, got my grandson with me today, y'all. He thought he came up here and scared me. Oh boy, there he is. There, look at him. Oh boy. Look there, there. Look there he is. <laughs> It's all in the mix again. All the time. I'm just going to turn them bad boys over like so, okay? And just going to put them in the air fryer and roast them for a little bit and see what happens here. I think they'll be all right. I mean, you know, just like the oven, right? All right, be right back, y'all. All right. So, let's get this meat together, y'all, because y'all know meat is not going to cook itself, all right? <laughs> oh. Add a little salt, and then we're going to add a little pepper to it, all right? Give it some seasoning flavor there, and then we're just going to give it a mixing. I'm just going to mix it all up. Normally, I would use my little fancy little chopper, but, um, gonna work with this right now, all right? Like I said, blend all that up. And then once we get that and get it nice and brown, then we're gonna add in our onion and bell pepper. And okay, y'all, so now we're just gonna add in these ingredients, okay? Slide those in there like so. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna mix that up. Pot holder, that's kinda hot there. All right. I love bell pepper and onion and garlic mixed together. It smells so good. Let's give that a nice mixing, all right? I'm just going to let that simmer for a minute. Let's 
so we can sweat down some of the veggies, okay? Now, I think it's going to be all right in the air fryer. It's, looks like it's turning out pretty good. Like I said, it's a little hot today. All right, you guys. We're almost there, okay? Got the ground beef already cooking. Now, we're going to add in our tomato sauce. Now, I'll have all the ingredients in the description below, okay? But feel free to add what you want. Like I said, ingredients are just a guideline to what you want to do here, all right? So for me here, that's about cup, half cup, not a cup, half cup, all right? I had to stop that habit, but <laughs> I'm using my fingers, but hey, that's what happens when you've been cooking for a long time, you know? You're cooking for your family. All right, so we're going to add that in there like so. Now... Give that a blend. Now, after that, we're going to add in our rice. Okay. A little bit more. So. Now, I have two pounds of ground beef in here, so keep that in mind, you guys, all right? But the you have to go by what your, what your family size is, you know? Well, make a lot. Save some for later. All right, now, so it looks like I got quite a bit, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add in our rice, all right? Like I said, I've got, uh, for the rice, for those that don't know how to cook the rice, it is two cups water and one cup rice. You add to boil, turn down, and let it cook 25 minutes lid sealed tightly don't open it i know it's tempting but don't open it until like about five minutes till because then you want to fluff it up all right at the cost for a little bit be at bewitching time the little four in here this is one night <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't even get all the flavors in there, okay? Mm -hmm. hey, keep tasting it, though, trying to see where it's at, okay? Mm-hmm. Get them. Key thing is getting that tomato base as well to it with a nice twang, all right? And just taste as you go. That's it. I wind up using the whole thing, so. And that is about, that is 24 hours. <laughs> All right, I think I don't need to add no more rice or nothing else to this, okay? Now, we're just gonna, like I said, let this cook. We're gonna get it filled, and we're gonna get it started, right? Because like I told you, this turned into an air fry episode because it's too hot to be turning on the oven. So, <laughs> give one more taste, see where it's at, y'all. Hey, y'all thought I was done, huh? I'm telling you, you just kind of make things your own, you know? Add your own little flair in there. So what I do is I'm gonna add, I'm just triple cheddar cheese for my some extra this up in there, okay? Not added, that's what y'all know. I'm talking about cheese. All right, I said this mozzarella, like I said. Get your own plate, this turned out pretty good, y'all. All right, y'all, now, you excited. You laughing at me now since I ain't done these in a while. <laughs> Don't get them stuffed, all right? But I think I'll be all right. So just kind of scoop them in like so. Like I said, you need some gloves on because these jokers are hot. Now, I think because since I'm going to be cooking this in the air fryer, I think what I'm going to do. Oh, the must look the gorgeous. Look how nice. Oh, let me turn my stove off. I'm going to burn these mugs up. Might even messed up my knives on my stove. I think it's my husband. You know, at night before he go to bed or come from upstairs, go to bed. He likes to t touch the knives and make sure they turned off. Like, really? Either way, I think he's broken and the mug keeps falling off, but that's whatever. All right, look at that. Woo, oh, 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 don't fall over, baby. Don't fall over. Now, see, that'd be nice if we'd be able to put them in the oven. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I might just have just my amount of meat there. Like I said, I ain't made them in a minute. I mean, like years. But look, I, you'll never lose your touch once you re do something and it's there in your memory bank. Especially from childhood. Especially if you like to eat and cook, too. <laughs> um, we convened here. Convened. 
Come on. Yes, baby. The movie is done. All right, baby. He said the movie's done, y'all. Is that my cue? Oh, those are beautiful, you guys. Gorgeous. Perfect. I think I did perfectly. Oh, yes. That's what's up, y'all. Looking good, Rochi. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. I'm Rochi, Rodafa, Rocky, D. Dimples, <laughs> Rochi, Lady Cadaver. <laughs> my grandmother, my mom called me Roach. Mm -hmm. Even my little grandson always singing, What you cooking, Roach? Mm -hmm. We were supposed to do some cookies today, but it's too hot to turn on the oven. We'll do it next time. Y'all make sure y'all check out our cookie episodes by clicking on the i card up to your left there. Our monster cookie episode. We got cookies. We did our mom telling them to go to our monster cookie episode, bro. Right? Monster cookies. Remember when we did monster cookies? I'm letting them know we were supposed to do cookies today, but we couldn't do them. Because they're too hot. Cookies. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to get the cheese on here. Okay, and then we're gonna try this putting them in the air fryer and see what they do. He, he, he get he losing his patience with me. <laughs> he keep talking about go to my mama house. I tell him I want to go to your mama's house too. And he go, No, you can't go. Okay, y'all, let's get this into the uh deep into the air fryer uh, to uh see what this is all about. All right, let's get this in there. Do a little turn temperature to three. Let's go to three. I want to turn it down because I'm a little leery. <laughs> We're just going to start out with 300 right now, okay? And then just let it cook, okay? Ooh, okay. They doing something. I can smell them. I'm going to put this cheese on them, though. All right, let's do the cheese real quick. Oh, they're nice and crispy, so I'm going to punch it down in there. Yeah, I can feel it. So, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, it got nice crisp, so yeah, I probably should have put the cheese on there, y'all, but, you know, you just learn, I'm learning this, I'm learning this air fryer thing, it's still, I'm still trying to figure this air fryer thing out, y'all, I really am, but I can't cook into that, I got to cook something like that, oh man, it ain't too bad, y'all see that, alright, you know what, I'm gonna put a little parsley on there, see, man, alright, that's all you, fancy it up there. Put a little fresh Parmesan cheese on there too. That'd be good too. Okay, guys, let's see where it's at. All right, let me open this up. Oh, okay. All right, uh, it's doing pretty good. Can y'all see that? Ain't damn air fryer top is heavy. <laughs> I think um, I'm gonna take those out. All right. Grab, put a glove on. Heck yeah, yeah, that's hot. Yeah, that's. But so the air fryer, so but you gotta take them out, but you don't, but I got to add more, but if I didn't have to, oh that would be perfect. Okay, we got it. Let me move this out the way. That's probably probably the problem. Let's get let's get it close over here to the stuff. So we can take a look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh shit, it's hot. Oh, cussing. Okay. <laughs> but we put it in the pan though. It's all good. Like I said, I got Two more to go. And uh, we're going to be done with this here. Woo, woo, she got, got, do, da, 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 it's hot. <laughs> okay, you guys, look at that. They turned out pretty good, I think. All right, now, I'm not even worried about what they taste like because, you know, I've been sampling. Like, I keep telling everybody, you know, make sure you always taste your food as you're cooking it. All right, you don't want no surprises. So, I'm going to put one on a plate. And we're going to see what it tastes like, and then I'm going to share it with Brandon, my grandson, and see what he say, okay? All right, let's do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these stuff, they turned out pretty good, you guys, so we're going to try one. Brayden's going to, he said he'll try one with me. We'll see. I just don't want that. <laughs> we, 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 that gets true, actually, but you know he's a kid, so. I don't, you know. I don't just like that. I don't do, the, I don't just like Peppers. No, you don't like the peppers? Yeah. Oh, you the kid that likes hot peppers and hot sauce. 
You're not a pepper fan, a bell pepper fan, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Well, let me see. Let's see. Let's show the people what it's like, okay? Oh man, yeah. that. Let me show you that. Look at there. Let's get Braden out of there. That's it. He cute, no. He cute, no. But he don't look as good as this stuffed bell pepper. Look out. He ready to go. It's about that time, you guys. I don't like that hot ooh, pepper. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Let's see, Braden. Oh, it's cutting up pretty good. It's nice and tender. Oh. What? Inside? Look. Look at it inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we're going to set that down and show the people that one, man. You. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's sliding, but. It's sliding. It's going to floor. Mm-hmm. But you look good now, but you don't look good as this here. You don't look good. Okay, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> be messing around with him. He getting ready to go. I'll be looking but it looks really, really delicious, you guys. The consistency is just perfect to me. Now, you can serve this like with a salad, some potatoes, you know. Guys, guys, look it. Look it, guys. What you got going on up in the kitchen, Roach? She got some collard greens, some black eyed peas, fried chicken, pasta, Italian food. Mexican food, Jamaican food, she got some barbecue going 